I think any opportunity that Republicans are not using to define Kamala Harris when it comes to her policy positions, when it comes to the fact that you are seeing her record change through spokespeople and not through her own voice at this point, is a missed opportunity. Policies are what are going to help Republicans win the White House and win down ballot races, not attacks and trying to litigate the race of a different candidate. Republicans need to stay focused and on message. I know that seems a monumental task some days, but those policy positions that help drive the economy forward, that we're securing our southern border, that made sure geopolitical catastrophe was not at our doorstep previously, mm. are what we need to be telling the American people but, but and not trying thing, to litigate the noise that you're hearing right now. But Donald Trump, I mean, does have a sort of, I, I don't know if it's like a feral sense of, of people's, uh, you know, what appeals to, to some people. Clearly, he believes uh, there is an advantage to, to, to doing this. I don't speak for Donald Trump anymore, but I can tell you what I believe works best for Republicans right. here. And that's going to be defining Kamala Harris on yeah. her record. Most American people do know her name, but they don't know her policy positions. Mm -hmm. She ran as an extreme left candidate in the 2020 cycle before she dropped out. She had to moderate a bit under Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. And now is the opportunity for Republicans to say, well, which White House? We but to the point there, the senator did say he'd be better served not doing that. And I think that that's probably the message that most Republicans if they're not willing to say it out loud, are saying behind closed doors. That's not the kind of language that's going to win this election. The kind of language is going to be putting Kamala's feet to the fire about the border crisis. Let's talk about fentanyl overdoses. Let's talk about the direction of this country. Let's talk mm -hmm. about economic policy. Let's talk about fracking in Pennsylvania and the economic situation regarding the Midwest. These are messages that can win and can win voters across the country. But getting into these kind of personality fights is not what serves Republicans best. We have strong policy proposal. That's how you win. Mm. You don't do it by doing things like this. Erin, thanks very much for being with us. Uh, Bakari as well, and Ested, 